I've decided it's time to create the next generation of superstars. Before we went into quarantine, we got to meet one of my closest friends, Dean McCarthy. We've known each other for years and he is the Australian on every single red carpet. So having him stop by our studio and give Gia media training, I mean, it's just genius. Okay, so today is super exciting. We brought Jordan in to do your hair, mm -hmm. got your beautiful outfit, because today we're gonna start on some media training. Even though you and I do this stuff together, a lot. <laughs> I thought I would ask one of my expert friends, Dean McCarthy, who literally interviews every superstar on the planet. So you're very, very lucky to get some first-hand training from an expert. And he's here! Hey, Dean. Hey, Vicky. So good to see you. Hey, Thank you. Well, hello, superstar. Come here, baby. This is How are you? Hi. Okay, you look amazing. You already look like a movie star, so we're halfway there. So, all of the big celebrities that you see on TV, Shawn Mendes and Mariah Carey and all the Kardashians, they've all had a type of media training. And you know what the cool thing is? It's super easy. Mm -hmm. Always respond basically in two ways. Always be super positive and always be super humble. Hi. Can I just say you're glowing? Oh my gosh, you look so fabulous. Thank you so much. A little something something. I love it. Thank yes. you, I appreciate it. Let me give you an example of humble. So, Celine Dion. Do you know who she is? Yeah. Celine? We well, you know, Celine's maybe a bit more out. So she's a huge A-list celebrity. And last year at the Billboard Music Awards, she came backstage and I was interviewing her. And the first thing I said to her was, you were amazing. And she said, really? Thank you so much. And I don't know whether that was a real humbleness or not a real humbleness, but that was, see how humble that is? She's Celine Dion. She knew that she killed it. We all knew that she killed it. But the fact that she was like, humble. And the other thing is this, positive. It doesn't matter what they ask, or who it's about, or where you are, or what you're doing, always have a big smile and a positive answer. So here's an example. You've just done a shoot with Shawn Mendes. Okay, you've worked with someone really huge. One of the first things any host or journalist will ask you, what was it like being with that person? No matter what it was like, you loved it and they were amazing. Does that make sense? So even if Sean, which he never would because he's awesome, let's say he turned up late, he was super rude, didn't want to talk to anyone and left early and whatever, it doesn't matter. You never share any of those sort of stories, nothing like that, it's always super positive. He was so nice, Sean was so sweet. We had such a lovely time on set. He was like, he was engaging with all of us. And if it was really bad, one thing you can always say, he was so professional. Okay, so sometimes interviews can be a little bit nerve wracking because you don't know what they're gonna ask. Miller and I have your song on repeat. What do you have on repeat during Christmas? I have a Christmas playlist or a couple of them that um, I, I tend to listen to. So you can have a few little things prepared and up your sleeve. No matter what you are going to, if it's a red carpet or if you're promoting a new music video or song, whatever, they'll ask you to talk about that as well. So you can have that little 90 second hour up your sleeve as well. BP's done a ton of these red carpets. Would you agree? Is that the easiest way? So it is so important what yeah. Dean's saying. You need to know where you are, yeah. what you're doing, what you're talking about before you even get there. Because yeah. you don't know what they're gonna fire at you. Yeah. But I wanna ask Gianna this. Yeah. What's it like working with me? <laughs> He's so professional. <laughs> if you say professional, you're fired. <laughs> and it's fun because you don't you tell me you like tell me what to do, but you don't say it's so mean. Perfect. You, say, you say nicely. Yep. It's fun working with you. Um, if they ever ask you, and this is a bit more sophisticated, but just something to remember as well. Never speak on behalf of someone. So let's say they said to you, let's talk, use BP as the example. So, okay, what's it like working with BP? And you said, ah, oh, he was so sweet and he's really kind and he always says nice things to me. And they say, what does BP think about, um, you know, the new movie that just came out that you're working on? You can sometimes say, never speak on behalf of someone. So just go, Oh, you might have to ask him that. A couple of technical things as well, always be um, aware of where the camera is. And if you feel like, if you're on a red carpet and you feel like your face is in shadow or you feel like you can't see the camera, maybe just slightly maneuver into the shot as well. A couple of technical things. The other thing is this, you know we were talking about The Rock before when I first turned up. Here for four and a half months, Gold Coast. Here's something that he does that's really, really cool. He will always make time for everyone on the red carpet. And he always, I don't know if he ever remembers me or not, but he always pretends to remember me. Another little trick as well. So if someone, if someone comes to you a host, here's the cool thing. If you maintain great relationships with all of the journalists and hosts that you'll meet in Hollywood, because there's actually not that many of them, it will really help your career. 
So when you're going along a red carpet, we'll practice a red carpet later on. Always stop and give everyone time and be really sweet and nice. And if someone's like, good to see you, you know, oh, and they, and they look like they're really familiar with you, never pretend you haven't met them. <laughs> Thank you, and this is so important for you, Gianna. You're very lucky. Now we're gonna test you and see if you've been listening. <laughs> oh, okay, now, can you please introduce yourself to our audience moment? Um, so my name is Gianna Peter. I love math. <laughs> Perfect, I like that as a little bit of a teaser. How do you juggle school and your social life and also your uh, Hollywood career as well? Well, um, I don't know, I just do my homework. Okay. I don't know. You're on a red carpet with Dane McCarthy and your answer is, I don't know. That's, do you ever see my work? Because you're so busy doing, you know, TV shoots. Good answer. Okay, what were the big things that you're going to take away from today? Let's list them together. No matter what they ask. Um, always have a positive answer. Oh, awesome. Second thing, if someone compliments you. Um, don't say, oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Like, say thank you so much. Perfect. If they ask you anything about a big celebrity that you worked with. Um, even if it was a bad time, you always say like <laughs> Yes, that is, actually, that is actually awesome. And then also just have a few things already up your sleeve. So they're always going to ask you something like, who are you, basically? Who are you? What do you do? And then what are you doing here? Like, what are you promoting? So always like do a little bit of research on the event um, and always be prepared to talk about, you know, your, your project. Because usually if you're going to walk a red carpet, it's to promote something. So for you in this case, it's to promote your new music video for RSV. Respect. <laughs> so you always want to be ready to be able to roll that out to the promotion that as well. Good job. Thanks. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'll see you in Hollywood Red Carpets in no time. Yeah. It was so cool to learn all those tips and tricks from Dean McCarthy. And it's amazing how many superstars he's worked with. Every time I'm with Gia, we do our on-camera work. So commercial acting, 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 acting while singing. And as you always know, I always say the worst thing you can do is nothing. So give me everything. And Gia almost always gives me everything. Okay, having Melissa come to my rehearsal is so cool. Her tips and tricks, no. I'm so excited because BP brought, um, okay. Okay, let's do it again. Very good. Now you're more excited. Okay. It's true. I'm so, <laughs> sorry. But Melissa surprising me is next level again, right? <gasps> that was so good, but you ruined it by saying again, right? But because, oh. <laughs> Her tips and compliments make me so happy. I know, they make, they're so encouraging, they're so encouraging. What? Now I'm more excited. Can you believe that woman? Can you believe? Don't touch your hair. I'm so excited that Melissa came to my rehearsal today. Beautiful, stop, I'm we got it. Okay. <laughs> I was and wasn't nervous working with Dean on the red carpet. It was amazing working with Dean and I know I definitely have improved. Now there's something super exciting. I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek of my music video, Respect. We're excited, it should be a good day. Cool. <laughs> Flip everything around and shoot the best thing over there. And because Gia has so much hair, I knew that I needed to get the best in the business. Now, we got David Keogh to do Gia's hair and I personally call him the hair whisperer because I think he's a genius. And David is most notably known for Miranda Kerr's stunning hair and so many other supermodels around the world. And on makeup, we have the very talented Sarah Christine. This is her classroom. Amazing chairs that we got from the side of the street. Do you like your classroom? I love my classroom. What's your favorite? I like the desk and the chairs because they look really cool. Want to get dressed? Yeah. 
So for Gia's debut music video, I thought I would bring in the big guns. So I got my Aussies here with me. Glenn Nutley is one of my closest friends and Glenn and I have worked together for years. And Glenn has worked with so many superstars from Britney, Cody Simpson, Miley Cyrus, Ali Simpson, Maddie and McKenzie, Madison Beer, Delta, Johnny Orlando, and Laura Vandervoort, just to name a few. Keep that energy all the way to the end. Um, so for the music video, I'm gonna be the teacher and then um, there's gonna be 10 um, school girls and I'm gonna be like telling them to give me respect and then um, for the next scene, they're gonna be dancing over there. And then for the last scene, over there, I'm going to be singing with the two backup singers, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the behind-the-scenes footage of the Respect music video shoot, which I think is pretty awesome. And we're so happy that Dean McCarthy stopped by for media training. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like and comment. I would love to hear from you all. And don't forget to watch my music video Respect on my YouTube channel, Gia Pater. Bye!